My name is Jane D. Decker. Um, I live in Loveland, Colorado. I've been working there for 33 years. I knew as a young girl I wanted to be an artist. My mother um, went to the Chicago Art Institute as a young girl, had 10 kids and didn't get to um, be an artist, so she just really encouraged all of us children to draw and to paint. I studied tapestry and figure painting at the University of Northern Colorado, um, went to Europe to study tapestry, came back and apprenticed with a sculptor. I love three dimensions, I love the figure, I love creating stories um, and narratives about people and living, so it was just, I've never looked back. Daphne was turned into a laurel tree to sort of um, evade Apollo's love. So she kind of protected herself by turning into a tree. That's a, a Greek myth. There's been lots of sculptures. So I just wanted to do sort of my version of that sculpture. I'm doing sort of two Daphne's that um, sort of are back to back so that they sort of create sort of a beautiful turning. I felt like it was fun and maybe sort of important to sort of bring in that botanic kind of feel to that to the maze so that it was sort of an extension of that of that garden feel so it's sort of a garden type of sculpture so it had that horticultural kind of blend with the figures so it's, that was sort of the pretense of the design and one thing that intrigued me to do this piece for the Stanley that the twins that were a part of the kind of the ghost history of the Stanley and I love Lons and Meeker, and I just love the, the twin sisters who sort of faintly mirror Lons and Meeker um, from the city of Loveland, and I think even from this view from the Stanley. So um, I thought it was fun that both the, the twin sisters are, are here, majestically behind the Stanley, and also a part of the fabric of the story of the Stanley as well. So I thought, I thought it was important kind of to bring those things together also. So it's kind of like a lot of convergent kind of ideas in this in this design. I love the fact that with the mirroring of the two figures, there becomes sort of a, an intrigue that maybe you're not sure which is front and, where, and which is back and where you are in the piece as well. It maybe sort of could be sort of a part of that, that whole maze type of feel.